It's Wave Ocean. We, we got to reset Wave Ocean. You challenge blindfolded? Uh, uh, a Sonic game blindfolded? With this many bottomless pits? I don't know, man. I don't know. The only reason I feel like Mario 64 is feasible in that regard is just very fair not to use the high jump. See, the thing is, is you don't have to use the high jump there. I just do for a little bit of safety to give Tails a little bit more height. I definitely should stop using the high jump there just in general because you don't need it. Yeah, Tails already trolling. It's because he didn't troll me on my last uh, run, so he's got to troll me now, right? <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get 50 rings here. I think we'll still be able to get it. Yeah, easy. Nice. Yeah, I guess so. How are all? How are you all doing this evening? Goodness, I can't speak. <laughs> I can't speak today. I hope you all had an absolutely wonderful weekend. I know that I did. All right, I'm not gonna high jump with tails here, so we can uh, so we can prepare for the inevitable. Do a little flight extend. If you watch my tutorial, you'll know exactly what that is. Get ourselves over to the beach here and hit the switch. Good, it's been a pretty cold day. Not a big fan of the cold. Interesting. I I enjoy fall, and now that I'm an adult and have to pay for things myself, I appreciate that. I haven't heard my AC run in like three days. <laughs> But I also live in the Midwest, so it's like super cold in the morning. Um, it's super cold in the morning, really warm during the day, and then super cold in the evening as well. So it's not really that great of a combo, but uh, you know, we make it work. Can we get tunnel launch? Uh, I don't. Th Ooh, I think we might. Oh, just barely missed it. That's too bad. All right, Wave Ocean's looking like trash, boys. Gotta reset. We need a we need a prediction. Do I reset in Wave Ocean? <laughs> so for this, I don't think all stories is an actual category on speedrun.com, but obviously I'm doing. Um, I'm doing time starts on Wave Ocean Sonic and then time ends when Rouge hits the goal ring in Tropical Jungle. A little cold here as well. Is that cold enough for me? Yeah. Dude, I'll take, a, I'll take a, a nice 60 degrees. That's like right in the sweet spot of my temperature. My temperature tolerance. I think 60 degrees is awesome. So for those who have watched my speedruns, this is the route I'm supposed to be taking through Dusty Desert, but the route that I never actually take through Dusty Desert because I'm a twat. Speaking of being a twat, I just died there. <laughs> Thankfully, we have a lot of time to save, so I'm okay. The Dusty Desert speedrun. Interesting. What was your time? Uh, it can be RTA or IL. Did you do a Dusty Desert Sonic or Dust? 49 seconds. Wow, that's really good. Congratulations on the PB there, American. All right, this is the way you're actually supposed to go. I had a bit of brain fart there. It gets a little scary right here because you have, of course. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a what a disaster running through Dusty Desert here. But it's okay. We can uh, we can do a bit of a backup here with the Sonic and Elise high jump. Hit the spring right there, my man. How you doing, the tan? I know we're having some issues in Dusty Desert right now. But I uh, don't expect to get sub one hour on this run. I might have to change the challenge if this is going to be sub an hour. Because in terms of Sonic runs, I just lost like a full minute. <laughs> But granted, considering the PBs, considering like I used my second best PBs, so the PBs, all stories, hell yeah. So all of the um, 
all the stuff of the PVs I used before the Deathless on each run. Now, Shadows is a little bit different because Silver Skip was patched out, so that adds like a minute onto his run. But uh, I actually did a Shadow PB that you guys are going to be seeing this evening over the weekend. I wanted to do a no commentary one and just kind of see how far I could push my limits. And it's not great, but it's not terrible. But I got 28 minutes, and considering I can PB with a couple deaths at 28 minutes for Sonic, I think sub hour is pretty good. I think it's, it's a good challenge in addition to uh, have some good bad news. What's going on, Goo? Or <laughs> Matan? I almost called you Gatan, and that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, we're doing all stories. We're doing all stories, and we don't give a flying fuck about deaths, and I can't tell you how happy I am to say that. Had a surgery, so I'm stuck in bed. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but did the surgery go well? At least I assume it did if you're here. But I wish you a swift recovery nonetheless. Probably for the next week. Oh man, I'm so sorry to hear that. Surgery is rough. Obviously. Unnecessary evil, but not something that's uh, really... Ooh, that might actually be a new strategy there. I just didn't use the high jump. I had a shadow on the brain on accident and I spin dashed up that. That might be a new strategy there. Let's get that. Yeah, of course. Of course, well, I guess if you're bedridden, I'll be here to supply content two hours a day for you. So you can get your P06 edge off. That was incredible. God, seven minutes. <laughs> That's so bad. All right, guess we're going into Dusty Desert again. My joystick's being weird. Dusty Desert, White Acropolis. Mining places where you don't have to high jump is important. Oh yeah. Well, it looks like you don't, don't have to use the high jump for that skip unless Chaos X either raises that wall or he patches out um, being able to use the sky blue gem after the purple gem. Watch out. It's gonna blow up. I'm to watch everything you do. <laughs> hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I can't tell you how awesome it is to, to see you guys every day. It really brightens my mood. I was I was like, I'm glad I didn't stream on Thursday, but I, I was really sad I missed all you. All right, because this is all stories. We're doing things a little differently. Uh-oh. Didn't get a 360. We got to get one down here. All right, got it. And didn't hit the truck. There we go. Run is validated. There we go. No 360? I'll give me, you, you just, uh, just keep watching. I was waiting for your next stream, yeah. Uh, I needed to take off on Thursday. Um, but I should be, I should be good for at least the next month in terms of not streaming unless something like disastrous happens, at least. But hey, I'm, pre I'm pretty happy the consistency. I've only taken one day off, so in the last like two months, I want to say. Can I make it back? I cannot. We're going to restart this section here. All right, I think that's two deaths so far. One in Dusty Desert, one in Crisis City. Not bad, not bad at all. The interesting thing is going to be the muscle memory switch between Sonic and Shadow since they're similar but different enough to where it's going to cause some issues. So doing them back to back is going to certainly be an interesting, uh, interesting challenge for my brain. I had no days off for the last six months or so. You mean, is that your job? Or do you stream too, Matan? I wonder if you can do this without a high jump. <laughs> I guess we're not gonna find out. Oh, I didn't hit a checkpoint? Yikes. 
<laughs> this is going to be a crappy run, that's for sure. That was like a full two minutes. Ooh, yeah. That's my job. Oh, I got you. I haven't had a day off in six months. Wow, dude. I'm so sorry to hear that. Was it in preparation for the surgery, if you don't mind me asking? I didn't have level two on that anyway, because I think I forgot to hit that enemy. Looks like it might be time to buy a new gamepad, fellas. <laughs> Wait, that's a big oof. I'm not surprised though. I haven't ran a, I haven't done a run since last two. It's almost been a week since I've done a run, so it makes sense that we're gonna have some rust to get off. We'll, we'll see. We can certainly make a. Just finished a big project. And got promoted. Hey, very nice, dude. I'm gonna use the Xbox One controller. I um I have a Mad Cats game pad uh, that I've had since I was like 12 years old. I uh, I think I've told this story before, but uh, I uh, I had a copy of Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. I traded my friend for. Um, I got the game pad and he got the game, but eventually he gave me the game back because he was done with it and I he was just like keep the game pad. So. I've literally been using this for over 10 years. I'm honestly shocked it still works. Yeah, no, that's always a huge milestone to get like promoted and, and that kind of thing. That's crazy. I'm sure that's gotta feel good as hell too. Yeah, I really, I'm definitely thinking of going Xbox One. Um, even though I have a PlayStation, I could use a PlayStation controller. I've just used a 360S controller for so long that uh, that's I need to stay with her else my muscle memory is gonna be all off They sure took their time. Hey, yeah <laughs> That's uh That's the those companies for you. They love to Draw things out. I I definitely understand that Want to get as much out of you as possible for uh, spending the least amount of money, eh? We are quite behind in terms of a sonic run this might, uh, this might touch 30 minutes, honestly. That was incredible. Yeah, it's out of here. Scuss is a possible replacement. That's true. It could be, uh, could be revolting. Lava shoots up in that fiery ground. I was considering actually doing gemless Sonic for this, but, I mean... It's 06, you gotta use the gems, you know? <laughs> Have they surprised? Ooh, nice! That's gotta be a pretty good feeling. I'm sure it was real stressful before then, though, because I'm assuming they really loved my work. Hey, that's... Like, that's probably one of the most flattering things you can... You can certainly get in the, the traditional workplace. Congratulations, Matan. That's awesome, dude. Ooh, that was a cool little skip there. It doesn't happen very often. Grab a ring just because I'm scared of these fire geysers. I'm glad I did. Thanks a lot. Absolutely, man. Hey, shit like that deserves to be celebrated. I love seeing all these chili dogs in the chat. How'd you guys get your subs? <laughs> Those who stuck around after I <laughs> fuddled with trying to get my, uh, my shit to link to Twitch in order to get you guys those gifted subs. Knuckles time, let's do it. Someone mentioned possibly like clipping out of bounds with Knuckles like you do in retail, and that might be possible, but I honestly have no idea. And I don't really have the time to do glitch hunting, but it might be worth it if you can switch out of bounds and finish playing four with Knuckles. 
Watch oh, Netflix so I can see you on the big screen. Um, if you have a PlayStation or an Xbox, you can download a Twitch app. Or um, if you got a laptop, you can connect your laptop to your TV with an HDMI cord, something like that. But I, I actually have found a new appreciation for watching Twitch, like on my uh, on my TV that you guys see in the background during the uh, during the intros. It's really relaxing. <laughs> Better than TV. Fortunately, I don't have. Oh, that's so sad. I mean, if you have an advanced enough TV, you can probably connect your phone to it. Because I don't know if, like, the Roku and stuff have, um, connectability with Twitch or anything like that. I can the laptop, but I can't get out of bed. Uh, that's fair. <laughs> you are working with quite a, uh, limited moveset, I must say. You're like Sonic without the gems right now, Matan. That's not gonna work. Gotta go all the way. Yeah, sure. Or <laughs> so you can you can catch your laptop screen. That's true. Most most TVs just have like built-in Roku functionality. At least the one I have. One brand I've been seeing get a lot more attention for TVs is TCL. Hashtag not a sponsor. <laughs> um, it's a TV I have. I got a 52 inch 4K for Roku. Um, it's just like a, a third party service, I think. That, uh, that like basically adds like channels and like that kind of functionality to your television. Kind of like the progenitor to Apple TV, I want to say. I don't know if there's like a good universal comparison, but it, it's basically, it turns your TV into more like a phone where you have like different TV apps like YouTube, um, Netflix, that kind of thing. Never heard of it. Interesting. A lot of TVs basically just have Roku functionality built in at this point. Doo -doo. I love the credits theme. <laughs> Too easy. No this, this, uh, music for the game, like a smart TV? Yes. To an extent. I, I guess, would a Roku TV be considered a smart TV? I don't know. It's a good question. I always see it because they, like, my TV has, like, the Roku brand in the corner. So I always just associated like, oh, my TV is a Roku TV. Because I think I got my TV. I've had my TV for four years now. And I mean, it's 4K, 4K HD, like Roku functionality, everything. And I got it for like $400, which is honestly a steal. I didn't even get it on sale, I just bought it at Walmart. Hashtag not a sponsor, hashtag not a sponsor. <laughs> I have this checkpoint just in case log skip doesn't work out. And it's not, <laughs> whoops. This is why we grabbed the checkpoint. If you don't see my lives counter go down, you can actually have above a thousand lives that just doesn't register. Curious? <laughs> Come on, log skip, work with me here. Yeah, that's okay. How long will I be streaming today? Um, we'll see. I like to uh I like to keep it to two hours, just because that's like a good amount of time. Gives me enough time to What is going on with log skip today? Um, it gives me enough time to like kind of surf through footage um, when I'm editing and that kind of thing because you know I don't want to put a ton of money into this while I'm not you know making a ton of money from it. That makes sense. And like 
you know, one of the, one of the things I want to do with my profits is make is like uh, buy like Adobe Premiere or something like that. But currently, I'm using a free video editor. That's uh, pretty unruly when the files start getting big. So around two hours of footage is uh, where I usually try to sit. Sometimes I go longer though. It really depends on the day. Because like immediately after the stream, I edit the videos that you guys see that upload on YouTube. That's why they're a day behind because I literally edit them right after I'm done streaming. Um, and then I maybe have like, I only have like <laughs> Monday through Thursday, I only have like three hours in the day to relax, but I mean, that's fine. It's honestly nice having something to do like all day. Long answer to your short question, but probably two hours where I like to sit it at. But I never, I never advertise an end time because I just never know how long it's gonna be. Are you freaking serious? Oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> I'll watch 24-7 if I could. Aw, oh, that's sweet of you, Matan. Unfortunately, I do not... I would like to do a 24-hour stream at some point, but... I do not have the uh, wherewithal at the current moment to... Uh, to do a 24-7 uh, stream, of course. Who knows? Maybe someday. I'm just gonna keep streaming because I freaking love it. So. And you're gonna get the same Stelmo show whether one person's watching or a hundred people are watching or a thousand people are watching. I'm, I'm still the same dude. So no worries there, at least on my end. Seriously, Bordas. <laughs> You can watch some other streamers too. I know uh, Joe Star. He comes in and out of here. Um, he streams P06 on occasion. I haven't really seen a lot of people streaming P06 recently. I think it's just because the the hype has kind of died down from it, which you know happens. Man, the staircase is damaged. Now but I think there honestly will be a lot more hype around Silver than Shadow, even though Shadow was pretty well hyped. Just because it got a lot of attention when when Shadow released, and obviously when Silver releases, it'll be a much more complete experience. So I'm excited to see what happens there. Oh, we have to do Castle Skip. Oi. Who decided I could do this? American, was this your idea? <laughs> That's my idea. That's true. Alrighty. Let's see if we can get this first try. Yeah, I just don't know. Without the double homing attack and the high jump, that's just not going to be possible. Like, we're definitely going to have to do it in a different way. If it's going to be possible at all to skip that. But hey, castle skip first try. That's pretty good. <laughs> this is honestly turning out to be a good time, regardless of the uh, Orcus Sonic Wings. <laughs> now, what we need to do, American is we need to give Silver an ability. Hear me out. Uh, hear me out. I got a brand new idea for Silver. When Silver gets released, he should get an item that halves his action gauge meter usage. Throwing it out there. I also learned recently that I've been mucking it up and, <laughs> and calling the whole thing the maturity meter when the maturity meter is only the red gauge underneath the glowing gauge and the glowing gauge is called the action gauge. So whoopsie. <laughs> oh man, I, you know, it did, it did kind of feel weird calling the whole thing the maturity meter, but 
This is what happens when uh when you goof up your reading. But you know, Silver should definitely get an ability where he has his action gauge usage. Be pretty sweet. And just for perspective on uh just an idea though, yeah. <laughs> for 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 uh perspective, IL Gemless Sonic for Kingdom Valley is sub three now. Which is absolutely bonkers. Like literally a whole minute is saved on that level, and that's gemless. That's gotta be some good movement. Some juicy movement. Oh shit. <laughs> I also chose to do Sonic Story first because uh, Aquatic Base and Kingdom Valley Sonic are infinitely more stressful than Dusty Desert Shadow. So that's why I, that's why I did, because I was debating whether I wanted to do Shadow or Sonic Story first, but I ultimately decided on Sonic Story for, for that reason. Give me that level three white gem. All right. Shit. <laughs> Freaking slopes. How, how is there a slope here? Whoever speedruns came about it. Good job, another speedruns. Oh, yeah. I think it's uh, I think it's pronounced Chara. Uh, they're absolutely incredible at this game. At Gemless Sonic specifically. Huge shout outs to them. I think they stream occasionally, but they do it more as a formality than, than actually, you know. Engaging in that kind of stuff. If you're looking for just pure gameplay, Bonzo, what's up? Welcome to the party. Nice. Nice. Gaming Mephilis, thank you so much for the tier one. I really appreciate that. If anybody has Stomo Pog unlocked, can we get some Stomo Pogs for Gimme there? Gimme Files. I should use your proper name after all. <laughs> If you don't have the Stumo Pog, you can unlock it with the channel points you've accumulated. So let's give some Stumo Pogs to Gimme. Yeah, let's go. Thank you so much for the sub, man. Thank you, Tails. You are big help. Dang it. The Doing a better job than my moderator over here. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I have no idea. I don't know how Twitch works, huh? Hey, it's all good. It's it is a little bit confusing. I'm not gonna lie, because uh, because like Twitch has the follow and the subscribe, where YouTube has the subscribe, where the um, because the following is the free thing on Twitch, where subscribing is the free thing on YouTube, and then subscribing is the uh, I don't know. Just because the two platforms are so closely related, people get confused all the time, so I don't blame you in the slightest. You a fan of Smash Mouth, Bonzo, or uh, or what are we uh, what are we talking about there? <laughs> oh god, this is gonna be over 30 minutes. That's so sad. I'm gonna glide right into the switch. Nice. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, this has been utter garbo. Guys, might as well just leave the stream now. I can't, uh, I can't play. I'm retiring from P06. Can't play it anymore. It's, it's really sad. <laughs> Being sarcastic. Bring it on. I'll take them all down. It's always tough. Does anyone else Where's suffer from dry humor? But I kind of have to say when they're being sarcastic because uh, their delivery is so deadpan. 
I've been told on multiple accounts by many people that I have quite the dry delivery. But I've learned to laugh a lot if you, uh, if you, uh, haven't been able to tell. If you get a 15 minute shadow story run. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it's easy. Just do it. <laughs> just do it. Just, just get sub, sub 15 in shadow story. <laughs> You know, America, I know you're in calculus right now, but I don't think your math is quite right on that. I, I gotta say. Did I seriously miss one? Get out of here. Nice. All right, thankfully we didn't need the purple gem for anything else. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is what happens if you, uh, if you get bonked during one of those sections, these blast doors come down and just slow you down, hellas. Oh, only blue's grab can challenge. Yay, green gem, yep, our one use of the green gem is right there. Ooh, this is a, this is an atrocious gem sonic time. We have died like five times though, so. No problem. C rank. If you don't die in aquatic base, it's basically a guaranteed S just because of how many enemies you have to kill. All right, time for the best stage in the game, Wave Ocean Tales. Arsana can brace that's flashing because he has the bounce bracelet and the... I want to say the other one's the anti-grav is his other bracelet that he has on. If someone can correct me if, if that's not correct. But one of them's the bounce bracelet uh, from SA2. He gains that ability in this game as well. And that's just the, the graphic that uh, Chaos used for it. Oh boy, Tails Wave Ocean. Best content in the game right here. Who doesn't love going through a stage as the same character they already went through the stage as? Foolproof. Why does it look so different? Uh, I don't know, maybe just like updated graphics between games. Considering the jump from the Dreamcast to the 360 is quite a substantial jump. I guess that's maybe how they originally envisioned the bounce bracelet to look, because that's how it looks in the retail version as well. Three sixteen, the Dreamcast is the same system. I mean, basically, they're basically just as powerful. Uh, Thirty-two forty-six. Yikes! This is gonna be a rough run, boys. Okay, it looks like this in retail. Yep, bounce bracelet looks like that. I can't. The other one, I don't think, is in. Uh, I got my split to remind myself to. Switch to Legacy. <laughs> Before I switch to Shadow. If you don't know the difference between the uh, the jump dash types, uh, it's gonna be pretty evident here. So with Shadow, uh, our jump dash preserves momentum, which is way more useful and gives them a lot more speed. Um, if you want a, a little more in-depth explanation, you can check out my tutorial on Shadow's movement here. Uh, I'll look at chat in a second. This movement's a little complicated. That was really good. I don't want to put legacy jump dash to the bottom. Yeah, it's it's literally just to remind myself because if I uh, if I activate straight with shadow, that's that's GG's man. <laughs> Like basically most of White Acropolis' Acropolis's movement is based around the Legacy Jump Dash, so it'd be pretty rough to not have it, yeah.
Acropolis. No, I was about to say that was gonna be a sexy white Acropolis, but I <laughs> I borked it there at the end. Yes. We don't play chat with a straight chunk. Yeah, true game. That's true. I am not a chat or not straight. I mean, have you seen the 06 fan dub? <laughs> That was definitely not straight in that one. Uh, that was almost just a sexy, sexy white Acropolis. Welcome. If you haven't uh, seen a shadow one run from me before, uh, this is called Kingdom Valley, uh, but it's actually called Shadow Dies a Lot. <laughs> Kingdom Valley is like Shadow's first run killer, which isn't surprising because it's like one of Shadow's hardest stages and it's his second stage. Which is just absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why they put this at the uh, as the second stage. I know Shadow, for all intents and purposes, is supposed to be like 06's hard mode, but Ultimate Life Form sure can't stay alive. He cannot, but what's to say he can't come back? You know. All right, got a really bad key here. Waste a ton of time, especially if you miss crabbing it. Jeez. Got a decent second key here, though. This one's not bad. Definitely not going to get under a minute. If we get under a minute in the ruse check section, that just helps us out so much for the rest of the run. Ooh, what a terrible, terrible set of keys. This is like, I think that's like the second slowest. I don't know if you can get the one behind the laser cage. If you get the other two there, I've never had that happen to me, at least. Because um, there, there are only three possible spots for each key to be in, and I think the the one in, that was inside the castle shares a location with the one behind the laser gate. So, thankfully, that's not one that can happen, because that'd be slow as hell. Here's the hovercraft. <laughs> In case you're interested in that. Something I might have to do during the legacy, uh, the legacy jump dash split is uh, restart the game. But hopefully we don't get any lag spikes or anything. This, uh, as much as I despise Kingdom Valley with Shadow, this third section's got some really cool movement in it. Oh, <laughs> that's the magnet shoes right there. That's how that's supposed to look. Oh, well, kind of. <laughs> oh my god. Alrighty. Cool. Still had a double homing attack. That's nice. I am going to be really sad when the double homing attack is gone. I honestly am okay with the high jump leading. Water the greatest challenge of Shadow. Water's everybody's freaking kryptonite in this game. The camera. Water and the camera. It gives us some easy time saves later. That's that's the whole point. That's why I'm dying so much, right? <laughs> Dang it, this freaking camera. <laughs> oh my god. This split's gonna be so bad. It is really sad though. I don't see a ton of people running Shadow anymore. Pretty much everyone runs Sonic exclusively, which is really sad because I love this the Shadow run. I love it just as much, if not a little bit more, than the Gem Sonic run. It's such a cool speed run. So we're not getting sub 15 shadow story. You would be correct if you said that at any point. <laughs> okay, so last year went. You going while in quarantine. I'm sorry to hear you're in, uh, you're in quarantine stance, but hey, thank you so much for coming live. How you doing? Welcome. I didn't know in, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but, uh, I have this, like, little notification that that's, uh, 
that stands his first time uh first time chatting that's interesting but welcome welcome to the show live oh i completely forgot to change my overlay big sad here's the shadow overlay everyone <laughs> guess that was all right oh like i said man i'm happy you got to catch something live it's always a good time out here oh. I did not know there was a kill plane right there. That's certainly interesting. <laughs> Shadow just got too excited on the rail, I guess. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I've never had that happen before. That was a great start. Join my crew. <laughs> Out of here. That's great, man. I hope you enjoyed the stream. In whatever way you like to enjoy it. Shadow just said he was done, yeah. Can we do a Shadow 360? Uh, not really. <laughs> Physics don't work quite the same. I don't know if it's faster to take the top route there or the bottom route there, honestly. It's probably a pretty similar time. Join my crew, yeah. And yeah, there's nothing like being part of the crew, you know? Welcome to the Stumbo Crew, hey! Is that what, uh... Is that what I should call subscribers from now on? The crew? I don't know, that, that feels a little too, uh... A little too pompous for me. The squad? The Stomo squad? Ugh. <laughs> What do you guys think of the Stubbo squad? That sounds... that actually sounds really cringy. <laughs> oh, man. Stubbo's the man who's going to be the king of speedruns. Yeah, for P06, maybe. Thank you, Shadow. He's getting sick of all the deaths as well, I suppose. Yeah, I don't know. Speedrunning's certainly not going to be my only uh, only avenue, but P06. I thought you were making a reference to the Squirtle Squad. See, like, that was the idea that I thought. I mean, I love Pokemon. No kidney scum. <laughs> well, I traded crew. That's true. Angry Shadow's always a plus, yeah. Welcome to uh, Shadow Crisis City, Section 3. If you needed a water break or get up to take a piss, you can... Uh, do it here. Very hard, much wow. Now the thing is, is the kill plane is deceivingly uh, low there, so you really have to be careful to not, uh... Ouch. <laughs> you have to be careful to not uh, fly too high there, or else you're just gonna hit the kill plane, and uh, that's bad news. Just have one question, what's your question, my friend? <laughs> that freaking car. That's the troll car right there. I'm dubbing that the troll car. If you got zero rings, you're just gonna get bopped. I guess the developers of 06 were really proud of that tornado graphic because Shadow and Silver, I think, look at that tornado. Look at that tornado graphic uh, quite fondly. <laughs> Nothing like wasting like 30 seconds. Can you get hit twice and die? You can. As uh, that's not evident. I don't think you can get hit twice as long as you keep mashing X to keep the speed constant. I don't think it can hit you again. Um, getting hit by that car in the beginning depends just on how, uh, how much speed you have going onto the rail. Is that damn Ford Chaos Emerald? True. To this day, Shadow's still searching for the fourth Chaos Emerald. Alright, about time. <laughs> Hey, here's the thing, American. If you were talking about a sub-15 Crisis City... There you go. <laughs> Maybe we'll squeeze Flame Core in there, too. I guess that was all right. 
this is this is gonna be a really fun run to get things optimized i'm really excited for this i hope you guys are as well this is certainly gonna be a blast to uh get the time down on so fast than 06 ps3 loading times dude i could i could make a sandwich eat that sandwich and then make another sandwich before a level loads in 06 ps3 is the red overlay new the red overlay is what i use for shadow so i thought it was really cool because the overlays are really similar so i use uh i like just had the idea because i mean all it, it literally <laughs> just like how in many ways shadow's just a palette swap of sonic um <laughs> my uh this overlay is just a palette swap of uh of the sonic overlay don't get something too crazy today i'd be very disappointed hey <laughs> Someone talking smack in the chat. Does have the red order from the start. I think it's a good way to signify his uh, his chaos boost ability. Yellow was weird. Oh, I see what you mean. His uh, homing attack aura. Yeah, I think red's a much better color. I can see yellow because yellow had a better contrast. Maybe, like, they couldn't get the right red. And it was weird because Sonic was blue and had blue aura. Shadow was black and red and had yellow aura? <laughs> it's like that in Heroes as well. And Shadow the Hedgehog. I honestly have no idea what the aura is besides like an indicator for whether or not you have a jump dash or homing attack available to you. Uh, that's a good question. What did you guys think like the aura always meant whenever the characters jumped in the 3D games? Because like I said, I always took it as j literally just an indicator. I couldn't think of a, an in-game canonical reason for why that happens to the characters. Shadow's mindset's all about having contrasting colors, if that ain't the truth. Shadow is a fashion diva. And you are... I, uh, not gonna lie, Matan, I don't know what that word means. Invanerable? I have never heard of that before. Unless that's a typo. Invanerable? I've, I've never heard of that word before. Maybe it's Chaos Spear Powers? That makes sense. Typo. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought maybe that was like a word for fashionable or something like that. I don't know. Good job, Shadow. I jump saving the day once again here, it looks like. Very nice. Like Nightbot said, give me a quick follow on Twitter if you haven't already. That way you can always keep up to date. I don't post very often because uh, I made the Twitter when I made this Twitch channel. So I don't really use Twitter all that often. I follow very few people. But I am trying to get better and doing a uh, invulnerable. Oh, I gotcha. I'm trying to get uh, trying to get better with Twitter in terms of updates and just uh, random stuff. His fashion ability, being edgy to hedgy. That's true. What a guy, right? Uh, I hit the switch, please. Thank you. Very nice. Heroes is even big has aura. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least big had purple aura. Am I right? I'm going to be interested to figure out how we route out this. Um, if we can still do a skip of that effect to skip that whole section of level there without the high jump. Ouch. This is really fun right here. <laughs> Just mash the hell out of that. I need rings. I'm not doing this without a ring. 
Oh, jeez. There we go. Just sneaking across there. I think the cat's like his greatest character. Hey, he stars in uh, in Sonic Breath of the Wild. <laughs> if you've uh, played, I think it's called Big's Big Adventure. I seriously hope that game gets updates because that game would be awesome with like NPCs and like other characters. Not like to play as, but just like to fill out the world because the idea is awesome. Because I always love the idea when they like use the Chaos Emeralds. Like you can use the Chaos Emeralds powers individually. And I think that, yes. that, uh, that fan game is the best like rendition of each chaos power being used individually. I mean, the closest they got was the gems in 06, because essentially, I mean, they, the colors of the gems in 06 correspond to chaos emeralds, so. It's basically that idea. All right, aquatic base time. This is gonna look a little different from my other shadow stuff because we can no longer do silver skip, so we have to do a little bit of extra movement around here. I haven't found a super good way to route in all the, uh, all these orbs, but we're gonna get to see inhibitor ring list shadow here because he kills all these guys in one hit and since these purple worms take six hits it's uh it's really nice and then we switch to silver i have to do his best aquatic face ocean tropical jungle in nine minutes uh yeah we'll see about that american i don't even know if that's feasibly possible dusty desert itself takes uh takes me three minutes on a good day There was silver section, super short, honestly. But the thing is, is the silver skip also skipped uh, this section. All you gotta do is believe. Yeah, good luck with that. Hate <laughs> how these worms are the freaking, like they're multi-hit enemies and shadows. Combat oriented gameplay. Ready for the button masher boys, here we go. If I had my controller on screen right now, you'd just see me mashing the hell out of the A button there. <laughs> I'm saying how they're on the wall, I feel like. Yeah, and the fact that there's like winds that helps you in that section selectively. Like there's wind in the beginning and wind at the end, but not in the middle. And it's like, what? what's any different about <laughs> this section of floor? Or of, I guess, bottomless pit than this section of bottomless pit. It doesn't make any sense. The cool thing about aquatic base, though, is that we get to see uninhibited shadow twice. We can see him there, and we get to see him here. Because we absolutely destroy all these guys. And we're just gonna kind of waltz our way around and just ram into these enemies. Very fun. Pop, pop, pop. Kill this guy, because this guy's the leader for some reason. Do two chaos spears, and bam, we're done with aquatic base. Uh, I don't think that graphic's supposed to happen. <laughs> you believe me, oh, thank you. Let's <laughs> see on their wall. Doesn't even inhibited rings named Cannon. Uh, the uninhibited, like him releasing his ring inhibitors, it's never mentioned in 06, because this is the only game that, like. Canonizes it. Yeah, bug report. This is the only game that actually canonizes it, but. I don't know. The, the upgrade that allows Shadow to do it is Memory Shard Light, which is original for this. Yes, features. Amer Americans got it right. It's their features. Oh, I made it through. What is this? What is that? <laughs> My mortal enemy of shadow speedruns is this freaking tunnel. Name inhibited rings? Uh, they're called inhibit -er rings, technically. 
if we want to be semantic and Sonic fans about it, right? <laughs> but, um... Down needs to work on his piloting skills. Well, the thing is, is I think if you do the, the double A boost and you run into something, you actually keep that speed for longer. That's why I do it in the beginning there, but <laughs> running into the gate was, uh, that was unintentional. Or I, or I could say something like it was RNG manipulation or some BS like that, I suppose. I love the wave wave ocean at sunset. It's it's my preferred way to see the level. The the lighting's just so good in P06. Especially seeing uh Omega's like lights glow is really cool as well. Now for those who've been around since Deathless Shadow, this uh this is a pretty infamous infamous section for myself. But I'd like to think I've gotten better at the game since then. All you need to do is not die that simple. The task is simple. Well, I feel like the task should be to go fast, American. You know, it's not It's not about uh, not... Now, not dying would be going fast, but it's more important for us to go fast than to not die, right? That was almost a tragedy right there. <laughs> this section's so scary because the uh, the closest checkpoint is really, really far behind us at the current moment. Okay, as I adds the day and nighttime cycle. Um, I hate to hate to destroy your hopes and dreams there, but I honestly don't think that's gonna happen, Stans. I hope I, I hope it didn't break your heart. <laughs> but uh but yeah, this is actually going to be really close to an hour. I might have to change the goal to like 55 or something. I don't know. Hours just like real nice and real crisp. But we'll see. I mean, if I get it in like two days, then I'll probably do runs for just for like PBs. All story PB attempts. But uh, yeah. D3 of Kingdom Valley. It does. It does, but um, I think Chaos X said something. I can't remember if it was a tweet or if it was in like a. Oh, sorry, you would have gotten it today. Okay, American, I get it. <laughs> I get it, bro. I am, I am noob gamer. But I don't think it's something that he can easily program into the levels from what I recall him saying somewhere Don't quote me on that, but just something I recall From somewhere IIRC as they say on the interwebs All right, let's see if we can snipe this switch. Nice. I always hate wasting time there because you can't just like put the reticle straight on it. It doesn't work that way. Did we get him? We got him. I love this combat room. It's uh, it's really fun. Blast that guy. Blast that guy. Should be ready to roll here. Uh, we're gonna have to go down here. Messed up the movement a little bit there, but nothing too terrible. Oh. Alright, we're just gonna sneak under that guy. <laughs> Go ahead and hop on over those two. Hop over this. 
the fun room we get to use omega's gatling guns to full effect here kill that guy kill that guy walk forward see you later see you later And since we already hit that switch, these platforms are up, which is uh, really convenient. And that's done. It is really sad that Omega's section isn't like... Um, it's weird that Omega's in like the last two levels of Shadow's story. Like, I know like for story reasons it makes sense, but it's like so weird that we like play as a new character so late into the story. Get out of here, bro. Your defenses mean nothing. I don't have any rings. This is terrifying. There's some rings. Alright, that was actually a pretty good dusty desert, all things considered. We're actually really close to the hour already, but we're definitely going for sub hour. Doo -doo. Might not be as hard as I originally envisioned, but we'll see. Got to be pretty consistent across the entire run. That's. For it looks like you need to find three keys to move on. Leave it to me. This lotus will throw you high in the air. There. Fly on over here. It looks like we can get around on this tour. The tropical jungle, tropical jungle, like this section. I can't remember the name. I get. I think this is section two. Maybe it's section three, because Sonic doesn't go through it. But it's really freaking good. <laughs> a a standout track for sure. All right, nice one up here. Thankfully, there aren't really that many places these keys can be. And the third key is always over here, so... You don't have to worry about uh, memorizing nine locations. You only got to worry about six, which is really nice. Whoa! That was almost really bad. <laughs> All right, 102.13. Very nice. Very nice. 